95% of all the Heinz ketchup sold in Europe comes from this sleepy little town. And it all starts with one of these foiled bags. Each bag contains 1,200 kilograms of tomato paste. But how do they turn plain crushed tomatoes into tomato ketchup? Remarkably, most people who work for Heinz haven't the slightest idea. There's only eight people in the world that know the recipe, and even I don't know the recipe. Well, we can now reveal that the tomato paste is squeezed into large vats and mixed with vinegar, sugar and salt. Next, a man in white overalls with a hairnet picks up a blue plastic bag containing something and shakes whatever's inside into the vat. Then some men and women in white coats with no hairnets check that the contents of the blue plastic bags have had the desired effect. At 9 o'clock every morning, a sample from each batch produced the previous day is tasted by the Heinz taste specialists. When you come in uh, first thing in the morning and you taste ketchup before you have a cup of coffee, then people think it's very, very strange, but um, it's, uh, we're used to it. But humans are weak. What happens if one of these ketchup connoisseurs is having an off day? At Heinz, there's no room for human error. So each batch of ketchup is also sent to the labs to test its chemical composition for acidity and saltiness. If a batch doesn't pass muster, it's rejected and binned. But there's one more bridge the ketchup must cross. In these health and safety conscious times, it was almost inevitable. Heinz has imposed a speed limit on its ketchup. In 10 seconds, we can only have 10 centimeters flow of ketchup. That's the 10 centimeter rule. Well, this machine is uh, what we call uh, the quantifier, and it measures the thickness of the ketchup. The velocity of ketchup is a huge worry. There's an ever-present danger that some unsuspecting customer will smack his sauce bottle too enthusiastically, inadvertently firing a dangerous dollop across the kitchen table. Okay, here we go. The arm is set at an angle to mimic the action of ketchup being poured from a bottle. And the Heinz scientists time the distance it takes to travel. And it's perfect. But what about the contents of those mysterious blue bags? Are the Heinz scientists among the eight people alive who know the secret? Yes, we know. <laughs> we know. Who's in the special one? Uh, we can't tell you. <laughs> it's a Heinz secret, I'm it's afraid. Must be yes. It's got secret. Finally, the ketchup is ready to go into the bottles. But what kind of bottles to use? It varies from country to country. These days at Heinz, there are 17 varieties of bottle and bottle size. The most popular is the newfangled plastic squeezy. But in countries like Germany, a more sober, traditional view prevails. There, the original glass bottle remains the ketchup container of choice. Only eight hours after the tomato paste arrives at the factory, the finished ketchup leaves. Every day, almost a million bottles are shipped out to customers in Europe and Asia. But don't the tasters get fed up with eating neat ketchup all day? We really love ketchup, yeah, we taste it every day and we still, even after this, all these years, we still like ketchup, yes. I would say me and my family, we eat about a bottle of ketchup of half a kilo a week. What we call uh, a heavy user. And what about the contents of those blue bags, sitting tantalizingly close on the other side of this door? 
only the eight will ever know.